All right, we're going to build on what we did last week. And last week we learned that when the author persuades, they will give us points. points. They will back those up with reasons. And they will support that with evidence. Another word for point we learned last week is an argument. Does an argument mean we're yelling at each other? No. No, it means we are just stating what we no. think or believe and backing it up. During my academic instruction of my modeling and my checking for understandings prior to any group work or independent work that they might do, I build their social and emotional learning through feedback. What is the author's point in this? How do they believe or think? I do not tell students, no, you're wrong. That doesn't do any good for them academically or socially. I try to tell them, you're on the right track, and most of the time they are. Okay. Is that the overall point they're trying to make with this? I try to tell them, I like the way you did that. If they are struggling, I walk by them and I'll, you know, talk to them one-on-one -on -one and work with them. You're right. You're right. But I definitely never tell them that they're doing a bad job. It's all about being positive with them. If you show them the positive side, then they'll take that positive side and they'll move forward with that. Okay, give me a reason that Patty says computers should not Great essays. Zakel. You model pro social behaviors through the use of your own language and your own interactions with others. When they see it, they'll recognize that and they'll understand that's how I should act. Okay, remember that it has to be supported by the text, right? If it's not in the text, we can't use it. So she doesn't give us that reason although the internet could go out, but that wasn't part of what her reason was. I think every learning experience is a risk, and in every learning experience there's always room for mistakes. You're going to have 15 minutes to read the article, and then you will make your graphic organizer like we've been doing for the past few days, your point, your reasons, and your evidence. Once we finish that, you're going to get with groups and you're going to work through what you've just done. We all learn from our mistakes. We learn from each other's mistakes. But my students know it's okay. I messed that up, but I can fix it. And I won't make that mistake again most of the time. They understand that. And it's okay. No one's going to laugh at anyone. So take that risk. If it's not right, adjust it and make it better it's okay to take that risk. So during the, our group work today, one of my groups was working on their task and they had made a couple of mistakes. One of them was an easy fix. They had used the incorrect graphic organizer and I asked them which graphic organizer should you use. When do you use a Venn diagram? To compare and contrast. Compare, are, we, are we comparing and contrasting when we're doing points, reasons, and evidence? Okay, so what can you do to fix this? And they realized which one they needed, so they just flipped their paper over and they moved on. Later, when I went back to them, they had some information that was written not exactly like it should have been, and I was asking them questions about it, and one of the students said, oh, we messed up bad, and I simply told them, it's not bad unless we can't fix it. And I asked them, can you fix this? And immediately, they all, jumped on board and started correcting their problem. The students in the group at first had started their task incorrectly, easy fix, turn the paper over, started again, but they also had several social issues. She's talking about cats and dogs. I know. At their house. She's like, it's a guard dog. Okay, you guys, settle down, bring it back together. I'm going to write my book. Okay. All right. I need y'all to listen for just a moment. I need this group to stop for just a moment. Everyone has a say, but you must stay focused and on task. I knew I needed to help that group a little bit more, and there were times where I sat down in the floor with them, and we worked through it as a group. It was more of me guiding them with questions and them giving me answers than it was with me just telling them what to do. Everyone has a job of voicing what they have to say. 
Yeah. That's a job. Did you share your point? Yours is on there. I say yours. What was your point? One thing I would like for everyone to take away from this is get to know your students. Build your relationships. Let them work together. Let them take those risks and build their own relationships. See? You made progress, guys. And it took how many of you to do that? All of us. Exactly. Keep that up.